the results of the uh, pomegranate liqueurs. So um, one was with sugar, well one was with uh, less sugar um, than I've made it before and uh, one had no sugar in it from what I remember and I really should have watched the video shouldn't I? Uh, but the internet's been off and I like to wing it and then one was with um, less sugar and one of those uh, herby tea bags in uh, that had um, the, the, the burdock in and probably something else. I can't, they're in the cupboard, but the lights are on and I can't bother moving the lights and um, all that kind of stuff. So we'll give it a taste. I think this is the uh, one that's got um, no fr no sugar in. This one's got sugar in and that one's certainly got a tea bag in. So give it a taste. Maybe we should give the. They've got orange in as well, orange zest. So we'll give the sugary one a taste first. Is that sugary one? Or is that the one without? I can't remember. We'll soon find out. No, that's a sugary one. And that's the one without. Um, yes, I think. I think the one with a bit of sugar in is just nicer and it's more like an. Her teeth, and I did put I put in some uh, what we call alcohol, didn't I? Some ninety six percent alcohol as well, just to give it a bit of a bit of a kick. Mm, it's more of a, which is what I wanted, more of like an aperitif. So how does this one taste? Now I've tasted the sweeter one. That's got hints. That one's got hints of. Um, Oh, Campari. So that's kind of quite interesting. And then what was it? And then did this have sugar in or not? Can't remember. I think it had sugar in. Oh, okay. That's kind of quite interesting. Yeah, I prefer I prefer the one with a little bit of sugar in. I don't think the tea bag. Um, it was a bit of fun, wasn't it? I don't think it kind of warrants kind of doing it uh, botanical wise. But there we go. So the one with sugar in works. Um, I'll put the recipes in the description um, so we can kind of get an idea of like which one kind of works. But it's more of a aperitive aperitivo. Um, rather than an actual uh, liqueur, which was like it was pomegranate liqueur before. And then, while I was rooting around, the same place that I stored um, these for, was it two and a half months? About two and a half months, maybe almost three months they'd been on the go. That was a long time, wasn't it? Then, in the cupboard, uh, there was this, which was the... Um, once I'd drained off the pomegranate uh, seeds from last time, I... Uh, pureed up the pomegranate seeds and strained the juice out of them and it was a bit cloudy. Um, I didn't mix it in with the pomegranate uh, liqueur because I knew it would kind of go cloudy. Um, so, But I kept that uh, out of kind of interest and I tried to clarify it with um, egg um, eggshells, uh, dried and then powdered up eggshells and it didn't kind of work but it looks like it's kind of worked a little bit better left over time so it's kind of cleared up a little bit but it's kind of lost its colour. You certainly tell the sweetness. So that's certainly a lot sweeter. So yeah, that was made with um, the pomegranate liqueurs, which were a lot sweeter than that. And I think, uh, and I certainly prefer. I certainly prefer that one. And it's nice with the orange in as well. So um, yeah, the egg one, the egg shells kind of work over time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain off these without the sauce, uh, without sauce, strain off these without the um, without the seeds and then I'll puree up the seeds and extract the juice out of the seeds because there'll be flavour and alcohol in the seeds and we'll kind of use that as a second rate kind of um, 
alcohol kind of liqueur. So if I'm, instead of drinking, if I'm wanting to um, like make a trifle or a tenamasu or something along those kind of lines, I was faffing around with like a ricotta cheesecake uh, a couple of weeks, uh, like a week ago. So I would need some alcohol for that. So I would use the alcohol, uh, the juice that comes out of the pomegranate seeds and the uh, uh, the juice and alcohol in that. I would use that as kind of like a that type of alcohol rather than the drinking alcohol, but that'd be nice to drink alcohol. So I don't think you need to see that, do you? But I'm going to strain it. If it was something like that. I suppose we should, oh yeah, I should kind of do. Um, what kind of yield we get on it, shouldn't I? So we'll get an idea of what kind of yield. So a clean jug. You don't have to way. And then I'll do it quickly through a, just a wire sieve and then we're going to get an idea and then I'll, I'll put it through some uh, kitchen paper so as you can see they've come a nice pink colour not as vibrant as they were and that's made for the amount of sugar and alcohol that went into it that is just short of 600 millilitres yeah, just short 600 millilitres, so we'll be able to see that on the uh, on the recipe, what kind of yield we'll get. Uh, and we'll just quickly go through what I'm going to do with those. While I'm here, oh look, surprise, surprise, my video's going to be longer than it should be. So that's that. So we don't want those bits of orange. Don't want that bit of orange. Another bit of orange. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do to extract the juice out of those pomegranates. So that can go back into there. And it gets filled again. It's pretty. It doesn't look like there's any sediment in that whatsoever. But I'll just put it through like a coffee filter paper or some kitchen paper just to kind of get the excess if there's any kind of bits of sediment in there. And then that can go back in there that in there and then to extract the juice out of these because there's still some there's be some juice and there'll be some alcohol and there'll be some flavour left in these berry in the in the seeds so we'll just pure them up like this liquid to come out of that pulp if we just pour it through the sieve. The sieve will collect the big bits of, of pulp and then we'll just have a little bit of liquid underneath which we can use in trifles or anything like that. I'm faffing around with desserts and it needs a little bit of alcohol in it for a bit of extra flavour. That will be completely suitable because it's still quite a high content of alcohol in it. But that'll be alright. And then that was the stuff that was cloudy that I then tried to uh, clarify with the um, with the eggshells, which was that. But anyway, so that's that. That's all kind of quite interesting. It kind of works, and I think I, I like it with a little bit of sugar um, rather than the how I made it before. Uh, and then it's all right without sugar, uh, but it tastes something a little bit different. I think pomegranates are nice, uh, but they're not as complex. Uh, a flavour as um, as something else, so it might be made. So when you make um, slow gin, uh, gin uh, uh, slows are kind of quite complex in flavour. Uh, they're bitter, um, kind of need uh, lots of sugar with them. Uh, but because generally bitter things are a lot more kind of complex in kind of flavour as opposed to sweet. Sweet are just kind of like a a uniform kind of flavour, whereas bitter things. Are a little bit more interesting and it's certainly a lot more interesting when you have a little bit of sweetener to them but anyway so there we go that will straight through there slowly and then we'll want to cut and then i'll use that for whatever i fancy using it for but there we go uh, a success <laughs>